What up YouTube? I'm bringing you a video on how to set your APN network for AT&T HTC One to work on T-Mobile if you switch carriers and you don't want to get a new phone. As you can see up there it says um, T-Mobile. First of all you just want to go down and then, well what should I say go up. All right, go down or go up one of the two. And you're going into mobile data. Click on it. Right here it says access points. And I have this one saved. I just um put it in there. If we can take a look at it. First of all, you would click on the option button at the top and you would press instead of having this option it'll be set a new APN and then the first name you're gonna put in capital T dash mobile data put space in between the T mobile and the data APN is gonna be fast dot T mobile dot com you don't have to set nothing after that until you get down to the MMS protocol it's gonna be WAP 2.0 space between WAP and the 2.0 MCC 310 MNC 260 and then at the bottom right here APN type you're gonna put default and then um, comma SUPL comma HRPRI and then when you're done entering it you're gonna click on this the option button and you're gonna press save and right then and there your data is gonna start working for those who are having trouble with the T-Mobile data like they can't get MMS's on an HTC one from AT&T if you have it unlocked as you can see I'm going to a website just to and gadget why not? Matter of fact, let's go to my website. I mean, my channel, youtube.com slash M A H B U L 27. Hit that like button and subscribe. M A H B U L 27. That's the channel name. My bar kind of dropped. I just had LTE like a second ago. I need to move around a little bit. Oh well, well it's still working. As you can see, the data is working. No Wi-Fi on. It's kind of slow because it's not a. Uh not getting LTE right on this spot but LTE does work for T-Mobile on a AT&T HTC One if you're in a good coverage area. Hit that like button, subscribe and peace.